Chapter 6, Mishnah 4. The previous Mishnah stated that uh, if there is cash in a bride's dowry, the groom must write in the kasuba that he will pay her back 50% more. That Mishnah gave an example of a large sum of money, 1,000 dinars. This Mishnah teaches that the same rule applies to a small sum of money. If she pledged to bring cash into the marriage for him, a sela, 4 dinars, becomes 6 dinars in her kasuba. That is, the groom must write the kasuba that he will pay her back 6 dinars, an increase of 50%. The Mishnah discusses another law that applies to the dowry. The groom accepts upon himself that for every mana, 100 dinars in his wife's dowry, whether cash or goods, he will pay her 10 dinars for her basket of cosmetics. The next Tana makes a general statement about the laws taught in this Mishnah and the preceding one. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel says, Everything is done according to the local custom. The rules taught in these two Mishnahs apply only in communities that do not yet have an established custom. In places where there is an established custom, the custom must be followed.